Hi there and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, also welcome. And if you haven't done already, there's a red button down there. Click it, it says subscribe. Thank you. All right, so today we're going to talk about custom requests and yeah, let's dive into it. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to use the same project as before, the demo app with the book library. I adjusted the factory and I only have four books at the moment. I also added an ESBN number, which is unique, so. Let's, let's test it out. So um, we're going to copy this. There we go. So test, test, test. And it will say, yeah, the ESBN has already been taken. So let's change that to this. There we go. Save. It created my test book. If I edit it, test number two, it's edited. All right. So, all right, so the code looks like this. Um, the normal... Uh, things that we always do actually we have a create a store um, an edit and an update function and in here we have a validate of the ESBN title description and target audience then we create a new book we save it and we, we, we redirect actually and then we have in the update also a validation but without the ESBN then we edit all the new things in the book and then we redirect again so I think you already can guess where I'm going with this. Um, we have validations two times. We, we yeah, it, it's, it can be cleaner than this, right? So um, we're going to use custom requests to do our validation in one place. Um, for example, if we need to create a book with the same validation in another controller or in via an API or whatever, we only have one location to edit our validation and so on. So we're going to start off with creating a custom request with Artisan. So PSP Artisan, make a request, and we're going to call it book request. All right, so that created um, uh, yeah, a custom request for us. It's in here in the folder requests, book request. And I'm going to close this one. and. Well, for the authorized function, I'm going to set it to true because yeah, we want our user to be able to do this if he is authenticated or not. Then the rules here, this is actually going to be our uh, validation rules. So I'm going to start off with the create function. So I'm going to copy the whole thing from create. There we go. Whoops. I... There we go. So rules is ESBN, title, description, target audience. And in here, I just can delete this. There we go. And this request here, well, it's, a, it's an, actually a an, an type of request, but I'm going to change this to book request. So book request is the request. If I save that, I just only need to add in here, use app, app um, HTTP. Uh, requests, requests, and it's the book request. There we go, and I, semicolon here, there we go. So this is actually, yeah, a bit cleaner already, right? So let's test this out. If I create a new one, just a random bunch of numbers. Test, this is a test. And it's for adults. There we go. It created our new book. All right. So we're going to do the same thing for edit and uh, update. I'm sorry. So this is actually a book request. And you can guess it already because the validation is different. This won't work. So if I try to edit this, did I save? Yes, I saved. Test number two. There we go. ESBN is a required field. Now, how we, we're going to fix this, um, if you go into the view, you will see, uh, so resources, views, books, create. We have the method is posts, CSRF, and for edit, we have method post, but method put here. So we can use that to differentiate our, um, yeah, validation, actually. So if I go into the validation, so book request validate if, and then 
else if there we go and this is the other question there we go Whoop. so if request um, is method of type post then we do this and if it's a request of type put we do this all right so if I run this again it's edited and if I add a new one because it's um, yeah because it's the post method it still needs the ESBN all right all right so that looks a bit cleaner uh, but actually this here yeah it, it still it still annoys me a bit um, so I want to do this yeah in one line of code using the validated data returned from our book request so in order to do that we first need to edit our book model and we need to make all the things that we want to set fillable so ESBN title description and target audience all must be fillable in order to do this so um, if we head back over to the uh, book controller so instead of doing this um, like book is new book ESBN title and, and so on we can just uh, easily say um, uh, book create and we're going to use the request validated validated there we go and I just can get rid of all this so there we have it store validated and so on and I just need to save this there we go and if I now add a new book with some numbers test number four this is a test and well we'll test and yeah let's make it for children whoops and i made a mistake here book create yeah of course uh, create is not cre create or or whatever it was here so create if i run this again boom and it's created and we're actually going to do the same thing for the update function but instead of create here, well, you can guess it already. We're just going to use uh, book book update um, the validated thing. So request, whoops, request validated validated. There we go. And instead of yeah of of book semicolon semicolon is just book update there we go one line of code so here we go just added this one and we're going to change this to number five boom all right we're done that that was it um there's nothing more to it uh, we have a lot more readable code right now um, and we can use the book request in whichever web route controller or uh, an api route or whatever we can use it wherever we want and that's how i like to use custom requests in my projects um, so i hope you learned something from it today and don't forget to like and subscribe and share see you in one of the next videos thank you bye bye